Green Iguana The green iguana, Iguana Iguana, also known as the American Iguana, is a large, arboreal, mostly herbivorous species of lizard of the genus Iguana. Usually, this animal is simply called the Iguana. The green iguana ranges over a large geographic area, it is native from southern Brazil and Paraguay as far north as Mexico, and has been introduced from South America to Puerto Rico and is very common throughout the island, where it is colloquially known as Gaina de Palo bamboo chicken, or chicken of the trees, and considered an invasive species. In the United States, feral populations also exist in South Florida, including the Florida Keys, Hawaii, the U.S. Virgin Islands and the Rio Grande Valley of Texas. Green iguanas have also successfully colonized the island of Anguilla, arriving on the island in 1995 after rafting across the Caribbean from Guadeloupe. A herbivore, it has adapted significantly with regard to locomotion and osmoregulation as a result of its diet. It grows to 1.5 meters in length from head to tail, although a few specimens have grown more than 2 meters with body weights upward of 9.1 kg. Commonly found in captivity as a pet due to its calm disposition and bright colors, it can be very demanding to care for properly. Space requirements and the need for special lighting and heat can prove challenging to the hobbyist. When frightened by a predator, green iguanas will attempt to flee and, if near a body of water, dive into it and swim away. If cornered by a threat, the green iguana will extend and display the dewlap under its neck, stiffen and puff up its body, hiss, and bob its head at the aggressor. If the threat persists, the iguana can lash with its tail, bite and use its claws in defense. The wounded are more inclined to fight than uninjured prey. Green iguanas use head bobs and dewlaps in a variety of ways in social interactions, such as greeting another iguana or to court a possible mate. The frequency and number of head bobs have particular meanings to other iguanas. Green iguanas are hunted by predatory birds, and their fear of these is exploited as a ploy to catch them in the wild. A hunter will imitate the sound of a hawk by whistling or screaming, causing the iguana to freeze and making it easier to capture. Green iguanas are primarily herbivores, with captives feeding on leaves such as turnip greens, mustard greens, dandelion greens, flowers, fruit, and growing shoots of upwards of 100 different species of plant. In Panama, one of the green iguana's favorite foods is the wild plum, Spondias momban. Although they will consume a wide variety of foods if offered, green iguanas are naturally herbivorous and require a precise ratio of minerals in their diet. It is important for captive iguanas to have a variety of leafy greens along with fruits and vegetables such as turnip greens, collards, butternut squash, acorn squash, mango, and parsnip. Juvenile iguanas often eat feces from adults in order to acquire the essential microflora to digest their low-quality and hard-to-process vegetarian-only diet. Male green iguanas have highly developed femoral pores on the underside of their thighs which secrete a scent. Females have femoral pores, but they are smaller in comparison to those of the males. In addition, the dorsal spines that run along a green iguana's back are noticeably longer and thicker in males than they are in females, making the animals somewhat sexually dimorphic. Male green iguanas tend to display more dominant behaviors, such as head bobbing and tail whipping. They also tend to develop a taller dorsal crest than females, as well as taller dorsal spines or spikes. Large, round, very pronounced jowls are generally a male characteristic. Jowls are located under the jaw and are protected by the subtympanic plate, which is a large, green, circular-shaped scale. Anatomy and morphologies. The green iguana is a large lizard and is probably the largest species in the iguana family, though a few in the genus Cyclura may match or exceed it in weight. Adults typically grow to 1.2 to 1.7 meters in length from head to tail. As in all iguanas, the tail comprises much of this length, and the snout-to-vent length of most green iguanas is 30 to 42 centimeters. An average adult male will weigh around 4 kilograms while the smaller adult female will typically weigh 1.2 to 3 kg. A few large males can reach or exceed 6 to 8 kilograms in weight and 2 meters long. Some specimens have even reportedly been measured at a body weight of greater than 20 pounds. Despite their name, green iguanas can come in different colors and types. In southern countries of their range, such as Peru, green iguanas appear bluish in color with bold blue markings. On islands such as Bonaire, Curaçao, Aruba, and Grenada, a green iguana's color may range from green to lavender, black, and even reddish brown. Green iguanas from the western region of Costa Rica are red, and animals of the northern ranges, such as Mexico, appear orange. Juvenile green iguanas from El Salvador are often bright blue as babies, but they lose this color as they get older. 
Adult iguanas found on most of St. Lucia, mainly on the northeastern coast, Louvet and Grand Anse, have many differences from other green iguana populations. They are light green with predominant black stripes. Instead of the typical orange dewlap, the iguanas of St. Lucia have a black dewlap. When compared to the common green iguana, females lay about half the amount of eggs, 25 instead of 50. Scales to the back of their head, near the jawbone, are smaller. Their iris is white or cream, whereas other green iguanas have yellow irises. Green iguanas possess a row of spines along their backs and along their tails, which helps to protect them from predators. Their whip-like tails can be used to deliver painful strikes and like many other lizards, when grabbed by the tail, the iguana can allow it to break, so it can escape and eventually regenerate a new one. In addition, iguanas have a well-developed dewlap, which helps regulate their body temperature. This dewlap is used in courtships and territorial displays. Green iguanas have excellent vision, enabling them to detect shapes and motions at long distances. As green iguanas have only a few rod cells, they have poor vision in low light conditions. At the same time, they have cells called double cone cells that give them sharp color vision and enable them to see ultraviolet wavelengths. This ability is highly useful when basking so the animal can ensure that it absorbs enough sunlight in the forms of UVA and UVB to produce vitamin D. Green iguanas have a white photosensory organ on the top of their heads called the parietal eye, also called the third eye, pineal eye or pineal gland, in contrast to most other lizards that have lost this primitive feature. This eye has only a rudimentary retina and lens and cannot form images, but is sensitive to changes in light and dark and can detect movement. This helps the iguana detect predators stalking it from above. Green iguanas have very sharp teeth that are capable of shredding leaves and even human skin. These teeth are shaped like a leaf, broad and flat, with serrations on the edge. The similarity of these teeth to those of one of the first dinosaurs discovered led to the dinosaur being named Iguanodon, meaning iguana tooth, and the incorrect assumption that it had resembled a gigantic iguana. The teeth are situated on the inner sides of the jawbones, which is why they are hard to see in smaller specimens. Primarily herbivorous, green iguanas are presented with a special problem for osmoregulation. Plant matter contains more potassium and as it has less nutritional content per gram, more must be eaten to meet metabolic needs. As green iguanas are not capable of creating liquid urine more concentrated than their bodily fluids, like birds they excrete nitrogenous wastes as urate salts through a salt gland. As a result, green iguanas have developed a lateral nasal gland to supplement renal salt secretion by expelling excess potassium and sodium chloride. Green iguanas from Guatemala and southern Mexico, which may belong to the distinct species I. rhinolopha, predominantly have small horns on their snouts between their eyes and their nostrils, whereas others do not. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe.